Hello everyone, today we're checking the model IDC75 brand in that seat and the problem with my drying machine is when you turn it on, everything works completely normal uh, but when you check your clothes you realize that it's not heating up the clothes so it's completely closed so what we had to do is uh, check the heater which is on the back on the dryer machine so we're gonna disconnect first make sure there's no uh, disconnected power and the heater should, should be here on the bottom you have to remove all these screws and we'll see how it's done so to do this process we, we will need just a, a Torx T20 and PH2 a fillet screw so I'm gonna start removing my fillet screw all around on my heater Here. Remove this cap on the top. This is basically the shaft. It's turning, and this heater pretty much transfer the heat from here to the bottom. We're gonna see through the, some grills. We had two more in the bottom. Okay, so this is basically the the heater on the on the, on the back of the dryer machine. So what we have is is basically two thermostat here on the back. The thermostat, uh, uh, pretty much for safety reason, uh, when the machine is cold, this thermostat should have continuity, and and when the, when this is really hot, to avoid any fire in our house, uh, it should break the continuity in the seat in the circuitry, uh, stopping heating up more of this machine and causing a fire. Uh, so what we have to do, the first thing that usually check and, and break is, is very frequently that this break is very much this thermostat it can be uh, purchased separately but sometimes it's not convenient to buy the, and basically the price of this heat is just uh, 15 pounds on ebay or, or, on, or on amazon or something like that so it, 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 I, I will personally prefer just buy the whole thing if you're gonna do this job so what, what I do is basically, sorry I already removed this step, there are two screws here that you have to remove, this is uh, basically torch 20 in this machine and you will be able to uh, unassemble this or disassemble this from the, from the heater housing. So what we can do is take a photograph if you want to remember how this is connected, we're going to make sure this is disconnected to test it separately each thermostat. Okay, so this is the first step uh, that I do with the heater. So we're gonna set our um, uh, our multimeter in ohms resistance. We're gonna power on, and what we're gonna do basically is measure the continuity or resistance between this two terminal and this two terminal. Like I said, when it's cold, it should have continuity. When it's hot, it should break the continuity, avoiding any fire in the house. So never jump this for any reason. If this is spray, make sure you replace it if you really love your family. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna test this one. This one is, is not beeping at all, though the resistance is infinity. Uh, that's mean uh, this thermostat is broken. That's why it's not heating up, because the circuitry is, is, is not closed, it's pretty much an open circuit. If I jump this to terminal, the heat, it, it will work, but you, you can cause a fire in your house. I'm going to now check this one.
This one, as you can see, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the continuity is, uh, the resistance is zero. That means it has continuity. Okay, that means this thermostat is good, the thermostat is bad. So, uh, basically, what I'm gonna do is just replace the whole heater. Uh, as I said before, you can buy on eBay for 15 quid. Okay, uh, so in order to remove this here, we need to disconnect the connector that is inside this panel. So in order to do that, we need to remove this panel and this panel, which include these screws, these two screws, and all these screws on this side. So we're gonna remove first the top panel, these two screws, and basically, once you remove the two screws, you slide this on that direction. Sometimes this is a little stuck. And now we're gonna remove, there is also another screw on this position. And all these screws all the way down. Once you remove this one, this very much is like that and then go up. Now you remove this. So this is basically what you will find when you remove the panel on the side of the dryer machine. This is the connector for the heating element and this connector receives a voltage through, through the switch and this uh, voltage it go or current it goes through this resistant coil hill heating up this here it goes this heat it goes through these holes drying up the the machine as long as uh, this is spinning through this motor and this belt so what you have to do is just push here on, on the back of this clip it's gonna release a click and then you can pull it out now we're just gonna cut this cable tie to be able to run this connector uh, through this hole and we're gonna proceed to install the new heating element so we just cut the cable tie run the connector to the back remove this clip from here uh, it's still heating element this is the brand new one. I mean, it's uh, aftermarket, but it, it will do the job. So this basically goes to the flat area, to this point here, and basically we just need to align these two screws, put the tour spot, uh, the tours screw it back on the back here, and that's it. Pretty much the the process is. It's in overall the same uh, uh, disassemble but just the opposite. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time. Thank you. Bye.